Hello everyone, today in this video I will talk about special scholarship opportunity at Kochi University of Technology in Japan. So before we discuss the details here on web page, I have made the summary of the scholarship in this word file. We can take a look. Special scholarship program at Kochi University of Technology Japan. It is a fully funded program. Okay. So the Kochi University of Japan of technology in Japan is inviting international students to apply for the 2024 special scholarship program. The special scholarship programs offer about that much amount, okay, which is equal to $7,341 for Japanese and international students to pursue postgraduate degree at the university, okay. Now the special scholarship program summary. The host country is Japan. You will study in Asia and categories of the scholarship are postgraduate scholarship and PhD scholarship. All countries are eligible to apply. Reward of the scholarship is full scholarship. Stipend is 7,340 stipend per year and accommodation and travel cost will be covered. The deadline for the application is 17, uh, 13th September 2024. If you want to receive the notification on your WhatsApp, you can join our WhatsApp group. I have added the link in the description of the video. And if you want to hear more about scholarship videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Special scholarship program details. Koji University of Technology offers several admission scholarships, one of which is special scholarship program for international students to study in Japan. So the SSP 2024 badge at Koji University of Technology offers unique opportunity for international candidate to engage in advanced research projects while receiving financial support. Uh, SSP enrolls students from various regions around the world in, including East Asia, Southeast, South Asia and Middle East. Europe, North America, Africa, and others. Program has produced over 200 graduates. Okay. Now the requirements for Coach University of Technology scholarship. Uh, you should obtain permission from the leader of the preferred SSP project. Okay. Hold a degree uh, of to a master's degree. Hold a degree comparable to a master's degree for. Uh, institution from the institution completed for. Uh, after 18 years of education, be scheduled to acquire such a degree before KUT enrollment. Okay, be 35 years old or under the time of enrollment. Have an excellent academic record. Strong bachelor's and master's degree from reputable universities. Uh, demonstrate intention, knowledge and research skills suitable for chosen research project and possess English language proficiency, uh, you should have these uh, English language, language proficiency test scores. Okay. The benefit of the scholarship, uh, they will cover your tuition fee. Okay. And uh, they will provide you monthly allowance as well. You can see. And they will also cover your travel and uh, initial living cost as well. Okay. The required documents which you need to submit at Coach University of Technology are you need to submit the application form and original bachelor's degree academic transcript in English or Japanese. Similarly, original master's uh, degree academic transcript in English or Japanese. Okay. Original master's degree certificate in English or Japanese. A copy of intending uh, applicant master's thesis research outlines two signed recommendation letter in english or japanese certificate of english ability and copy of passport copy of publication and a copy of email or communication which clearly shows that leader of the intending applicant preferred project has given the intending application applicant permission to apply for the ssp project it means that you need to get the uh, acceptance letter from the a supervisor of that specific project okay and sign p pre application request now how we can apply for the program so for that uh, you need to choose one research project at ssp research project list send complete online pre application request to the leader of your preferred project okay and obtain leaders 
permission to apply for SSP project. When you obtain the permission from the project leader, complete all the required documents and submit them to KUT by post by the deadline. Okay, so this is the application procedure. We can also take a look uh, about, we can also take a look details here. SSP application guideline for prospective students. So, this is the project list you can see here and you will click here. So now you can see here, uh, this is uh, engineering science project list, okay. This is the field, this is the project leader, you need to contact with that leader, okay, if you are interested in that project. And these are uh, past doctoral students from under uh, who have uh, worked under this professor, okay. This is the description of the project. When you will click here, it will open a PDF. Okay, you can see here this PDF file. Here they have described the project in detail. Okay, and uh, these are the required skills and knowledge. So, yeah, this project is available under SSP project application. CSC cut project is also available. So, this is these are the project list. You can take a look here. And this is Intelligent Mechanical Engineering in Cami Campus. Electronic and Photonic Engineering Projects, okay. Infrastructure System Engineering and uh, Economic and Management, okay. So these, uh, these were all the projects, okay. And uh, then you need to send this online pre-application request to that specific project in which you are interested, okay? So when you will click here, it will take some time to open. So you can see here, this is the pre-application form, okay? You need to select here when you wish to start the program. Have you ever applied to SSP project? Uh, your recent photo okay you need to browse and whether you need to select whether you are uh, male female single or married then you need to write here your name your nationality your date of birth your age okay and uh, present occupation what you are doing now name of school and employment at present okay your email address and your second email address your present mailing address okay and preferred project list you can see here you can select the preferred you know first you need to select the supervisor okay under which you want to work so here the project then you need to after you select the project for example okay this leader then you can select here the project available under that professor okay educational background background and your here you can see your Elementary school, lower school, upper secondary, undergraduate, graduate level, okay. Employment record, list of publication, academic record, okay. So you need to complete all these details. Summary of your thesis, research plan, language ability. Have you ever visited Japan? Okay, have you ever lived abroad? What are your plan after completing doctoral degree and then submit your this pre-application form okay and here they have mentioned that actual dates of KUT online pre-application form is not available in the following dates okay and uh, program of study other details you can take a look here eligibility criteria we have already took a look about these application process and decision okay enrollment admission application deadline we have discussed already okay enrollment so they have discussed all the details here on this page you can take a look okay list of required documents we have already saw in the word file you can take a look here as well okay these are the required documents Signed pre-application request, original bachelor's degree and 
we have already saw these required documents they have mentioned here in detail okay if you will have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching the video if you want to hear more about scholarship videos please subscribe to our youtube channel i wish all of you best of luck and yeah take care bye bye